been working on getting my bachelor's degree for several years now and I've changed my mind several times on what I wanted it to be in but originally I thought I wanted to do an aerospace engineering degree so I had to take several physics classes for that. I took several intro classes in physics and the workload was tough but I managed to do it just fine. It was only when I started to take lab-based physics classes where we would have to work on a project in groups that I was having a hard time. On lecture days I was happy because it meant that we didn't have to work with other people but I would dread lab days because it meant that for the full two hours I would be working with a group of people. The people in my lab group were very nice. It was just I always felt the need to be more than what I actually am but that fear actually made me a little less than what I really am. So anyway during this one particular lab I was feeling anxious. I'm not really sure why it was just like any other lab day. The whole time I was so nervous that I barely spoke to any of my group mates and I was trying not to cry the whole time. After class finally ended, it was at that moment when I realized that it wouldn't matter that I was intelligent enough to do the work and get good grades. If I couldn't work efficiently with other people, then I wouldn't enjoy engineering at all. So that was when I decided to drop out of engineering. I still wanted to do something related to science. I just didn't know what it was yet. All I knew was that I definitely couldn't work in groups. This happened relatively recently so I was aware at this point how badly my social anxiety affected me but I hadn't yet reached the point where I wanted to actively work to overcome my anxiety. I was just more resigned to my feet and thought well this is how I am so I can't change it. I wish that I had started to work toward overcoming my anxiety when I was still in grade school because if I had then by the time I got to college I wouldn't have such a hard time working in groups. I know that a lot of people have that feeling where they look back and wish they had done something differently because if they had then they would be at a much different place than they are now. But also I know that if I don't do anything to work on my anxiety now then in 10 years I'll still be in the same place and wishing that 10 years ago I had done something to work on my anxiety problems. So yeah, that's basically where this whole idea for YouTube came from.